Hi there, it's Karen at Corrie Paper Crafts here, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Scotland. Welcome back to another Simple Sundays project and this one is probably one of the simplest projects that I've ever made um, and it really doesn't take long to make at all. It's a kiddies bookmark or to be quite honest with you it could be a big person's bookmark because I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to make one for myself <laughs> and I've made it using the... Um, Birthday Bonanza designer series paper which I have shown in another um, video but I'll just very quickly let you see it here. This is the, the sheet that we're using today but um, lots of other birthday designs. Look at that lion, absolutely smashing. Little candles as well, balloons and sort of confetti type um, patterns on the back of here, love the little koala and a little toucan as well wearing party hats um, and I actually used the birthday bonanza um, dies as well or the, the, they're called the bonanza dies um, to cut out the little visitor that's on the back of my bookmark. Um, I stamped him using the bonanza buddies stamp set, a photopolymer stamp set which is in the um, spring summer mini catalogue it is part of the bonanza buddies suite um or birthday bonanza suite i can't remember which it's called and the bonanza dies and for the tag i've used this um die here and this is the die that cuts out your little koala bear and um, the lion die i've shown this in a previous video and this cuts out the toucan this is the lion's mane and the tip of his tail but you've got um some bunting and things and, and the party hat with the pom-pom as well so lots of really pretty dyes and who says that it's just for birthdays um, I'm going to use it for other things other things as well so rather than put him on the front because he kind of got a bit lost on the front although mm, you can see him um, but I just felt that he took away from the pattern on the designer series paper so I just popped them on the back but it's entirely up to you what you do but the good thing about this is there are no scissors involved other than cutting the ribbon so this is a great project to make with your little people as well if that you're going to be reading with them while they're stuck off school because of um, the measures in place at the minute this being March 2020 um, with the, the, the global virus that we have at the moment. So a really quick and easy project so they're not going to lose interest. All you're going to do is a little bit of stamping, um, a bit of die cutting and a bit of gluing together and that's it. So provided a big person cuts the ribbon it's a good project for little ones to make as well. So I'm going to show you how I made it. And ahead of time I've already die cut a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock and a piece of the DSP just the same as that one and I've actually gone back to the little lion which is my favourite out of all these little critters um, but I've die cut it and, and stuck it all together ahead of time and rather than dimensionals um, which would lift it up too much to give it a little bit of dimension I've actually used mini glue dots on the back so I've, I've put plenty on the back of there as well again if it's little people that are going to be using it you want it to, to stay stuck and not fall off um, but I didn't want to glue it flat down either um, if I just kind of sit that there it lets you see the difference there is a bit of dimension using the mini glue dots rather than gluing it flat but it's still thin enough to go inside a book so um, to stick the two together what I did was I actually put the wrong sides together so that you've got the stitched pattern on the front and on the back to stick to, to pop the, the DSP on top of the cardstock that way round I just felt made it a kind of untidy back so I just stuck them together um, with the wrong sides so using a bit of liquid glue and just being careful not to go over the stitch lines because I don't want the glue to squish through those little holes but making sure that I'm putting plenty around this little hole here so that it stays together but not having big blobs of glue and then I just 
brought my glue round the shape of the tag close to the stitching but not right on it so that it doesn't squish through. The glue will spread out a bit once you put it together anyway. And then I just lined up these two holes which made it much easier to put it together and the glue being a liquid glue gives you time to move it around if you need to and I just made sure that I ran my fingers down each side and the top and bottom to make sure that it was properly stuck together and all completely in alignment and then just gave it a gentle press to make sure that I spread that glue out and got it stuck together and if you want you can come in with your paper folder and just do the same without marking your paper and that's it stuck together and then adding mini glue dots and I just to get his tail a mini glue dot would be too big so all I did was I just gently folded it in half like that and that gave me the right size to pop on the tip of his tail and I'm just going to pop him in the middle on the back just like that and again you've got a little bit of dimension because you've used mini glue dots and then all I need to do is bring in my um, now this is the what is it called metallic edge ribbon it's whisper white edged with silver and it's three eighths of an inch wide and just cut off enough to put through the top fold it in half just pop it through that hole like that pop the tails through and just pull it tight but just keeping the silver bit on show like that and then I just tidied up the top cut it at an angle and that's my bookmark made so quick and easy uh, something you can do with the little ones if they want to make a bookmark just cut that down a little bit and I think it's really pretty paper and you've got your little critters on the back so if you're looking to join Stampin' Up what I will say is this designer series paper is part of um, the joining offer at the moment and I'm just trying to find it to let you see it because I had it um, a wee while ago here we are so if you're going to make those, um, you don't even have to order the, the papers because you've got paper here amongst others and there are four sheets of each so you've got plenty to make your bookmarks and there's some more from the, the Birthday Bonanza suite as well and some of our other um, DSPs. It's a sample pack of not all but most of our DSPs. This is the Lily paper here which is also free during celebration. And also, if you're looking to cut your card um, before you die cut, then part of the joining offer you're getting this mini paper cutter as well. So it's worth thinking about. Um, even you could have the, the stamp set for free because part of the joining offer is that you can choose any stamp set that you want from any of our current catalogues. Um, so you could be even choosing the Bonanza Buddies as your free stamp set. Um, it's one of our slightly cheaper stamp sets but there are those that are much more expensive if you wanted to pick a dearer one but it's entirely up to you. But it just lets you see that if you choose carefully um, you, could, you could be really quite um, thrifty and methodical with your your starter kit so that's it for today um, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video and if you've not already subscribed to my channel uh, that would be lovely too um, I'm trying to get to 200 subscribers and I'm, I'm not far off so um, every little helps as they say so until I see you again take care and bye bye for now